When COVID had begun and the world was going crazy, there was fear going through everyone's mind. I stumbled across some literature called 10 Laws for Crazy Times. This was inspired by uh, Dan Sullivan and Joe Polish. I use these laws now in my own business. And I think that in 2023, when we are selling in a time of crisis, interest rates are high, the buyer energy has totally changed, vendors aren't getting the prices they were getting, buyers don't have fear of missing out. You need to have the right mindset to cope in this market. So let's go through those 10 laws. Law number one, you've got to forget about yourself and you've got to focus on others. When you forget about your issues, and you focus on solving problems of other people, you'll notice you connect with people. Number two, you've got to forget about your product and you've got to focus on your relationships. You see, at the end of the day, people don't care about your listing presentation. They care if you're a good human being showing up. They care about likability. They care about trust. They've got to feel like you're going to be in their corner. The rest of the stuff works itself out, but without trust and likability, they don't care about your business plan on how you're going to get them top dollar. Number three, you've got to make sure that you forget about the sale and you've got to focus on creating value. You've got to show more, you've got to do more, you've got to give more. You've got to be a value added provider. You've got to move away from the commodity dungeon, right? And I realize that the portals have actually made real estate agents look the same and that the average vendor might think that you're just going to sit outside with a clipboard taking names and ask for a $20,000 fee at the end. But the truth is they don't see all the other work we're doing. So you've got to be a very good value added provider. Then you've got to start focusing on what you've gained versus what you've lost. There are so many new opportunities that we have today, predominantly because digital has made it easier for us to be more efficient to work whether you're using digital price updates, whether you're using the digital door knock, whether you're getting people to sign on glass, which is saving everyone a lot of time. What are you doing in a time of crisis? You've got to focus on what you've gained and not what you've lost. Law number five for me is a very important law. You've got to forget about your difficulties and you've got to focus on your progress. I'm going to say that again. You've got to forget about your difficulties and focus on your progress. Difficulties are speed humps. They're not brick walls. And what the best agents are doing is they don't let perfect get in the way of better. They're just moving forward, moving forward. Progress is the name of the game. Law number six, you've got to forget about the future and you've got to focus on today. Think about it. If you just choose to have six good days in a week, you've got a great week. And if you do that every week for the month, you've had a great month. And if you do that every month, you've had a great year. Your days are your life in miniature. There's no such thing as an unimportant day. And I'm gonna ask you in 2023 to focus on having impeccable days. Law number seven, you've got to forget about who you were and you've got to start focusing on who you can be. So if you're the sort of person that's been sitting there saying, I'm just a disorganized type, I'm not process driven, that story needs to be suffocated. And you've got to change that story to say, I might not be a natural process driven person, but I can get better. You're gonna to have to say goodbye to the person that has qualities that aren't driving you forward. And you've got to start saying hello to the new best version of you and focus on the qualities and habits that will drive you forward. Law number eight, you've got to forget about your events and focus on your responses. Martin Seligman, great piece of work, learned optimism, talks about the best of the best. They let go of the things that are not controllable and they focus on what they can control. They start having a focus of an internal locus of control. What can I actually do that impacts and drives me forward? Too many people participate on factors that they have no control over. Other agents, commissions, other agents, prices at listing presentations, so what the competitors are doing, what the banks are doing with interest rates, inflation, what the weather is like. Listen, you can't control, let it go and focus on what you can control. Some of those things are your energy levels, your presentation, your punctuality, your product knowledge, the attention to detail that you bring. There are so many things that are within your control. Participate on these. Law number nine, you gotta forget what's missing and you gotta focus on what's available. Gone are the days where you're gonna get 30 or 40 groups 
coming through your opens, not in this market anyway. But what have you gained? The ability to have more time, the ability to have private inspections one-on-one, -on -one, the ability to get really close to a buyer and find out exactly what problem you're solving. Back in the old days, when there was 50 people coming through an open home, you were like a salesperson at Meyer or David Jones on Boxing Day, people flying at you. What chance did you have to serve people there? Let go of what's missing and start focusing on what's available. And the last law, law number 10, you've got to forget about your complaints and you've got to focus on your gratitude. You've got to focus on what's right in your life. You've got to focus on why it's going to work and not why it won't work. I mean, there are some people we meet in life who have a problem for every solution. That's not the mindset you need in this time of crisis in real estate. So there you are, 10 laws for crazy times.